let me take you behind the scenes of War Dove's Fire. Not only do I deal with feminists all the time and stupid women, I deal with the everyday mangina. You're going to see a comment here which is so pathetic. It's like the most saddest thing men can ever say to another man. And this man who said this to me is obviously a man who thinks that obtaining females is the highest thing that they can achieve in life. A sad little human being. But worry not. To me, this person is just a mere child with no brain cell, no capacity to understand what he's saying or doing. But it's a hungry desire from sad little manginas out there who have never had pussy in their life and think by undercutting other men kind of drives out their competition as if he wants to get with my ex or something like that, like I care. It's sad, and men like this really should be shot in the head. These are the sad little wankers out there that will never achieve anything in life, who always struggle to get on the woman's good side, who begs women for sex. <laughs> I've never asked a woman once in my life for sex. They've always thrown their pussy and boobs at me whenever they felt like it. I've never asked for sex, not once in my life. Just simply being me, projecting who I am, radiating who I am, Pussy flies at me. But sad little men like this feel like they have to undercut and mock and ridicule and shame other men. And that way they hope that they come into the good light and they stand on the good side of the female. It's a very sad attempt. And I think this is why most men today actually hate the mangina and wish for them to basically die and rot and decay. Anyways, a quick video. This is Wardo's Boyer saying see you all later. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.